Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Yellow Randomized Nuzlocke. Last episode, we got through the last major grindy section of the game, thank heavens. This episode, I'm hoping to be able to take down three different gyms all in this episode. Hoping. We're going to see where our levels are, because Sabrina does scare me having three level 50s. But, we can easily start by going into the Karate Dojo. And having our level 40s take on the Karate Dojo. Which, even the aces of the leader of the Karate Dojo are at 37. So while I'm technically over-leveled for this... Um... It's not actually considered to be a gym, even though it says gym on the outside, due to um, due to it not giving you a badge. It gives you a normally it gives you a Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan at the end of the battle, but in the randomizer, hopefully it will be a randomized Pokemon. I wonder if I'll get to see them before I pick them. Uh, is 41 Cedra Instinct. So, this episode, not only should we get at least this in the... I believe the Soul Badge is next. Um, but, we will also get a Starmie this episode. As long as Staryu doesn't die. And so I'm just genuinely excited. Like, we put in a lot of work. We went through a lot of ordeal to get here. And, but now we're here. So, and everyone's getting levels. All right, Elizabeth and KFC are the only two that aren't 41 yet. I am going to treat it just like I did with Silphco, though, is, like, if there's a matchup that's better, I'm going to do the better matchup. Unless it's something, like, low, low experience, like Paris, or something along those lines. So, all this work is finally going to pay off. We're finally on the downhill slope. We get to run quickly towards the end of the game. We get to do sea foam, which I don't even think... You, you don't have to do it fully because um, we're not going for the Articuno encounter. So... We just have to get Seafoam and the Pokemon Mansion and Victory Road are the only, like, grindy areas left. But each of them... I'm gonna get repels, probably, for each of them. So, just because we're gonna get our encounter, but I don't want to deal with more than that. Prime example, Dragonite is just, that's been any dragon, Dragon, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, Salmonage's job to take care of with Ice Punch until she misses and then gets paralyzed, you know, it's just, this kind of thing happens. Luckily, this should still be quad effective, so... Let's go to Patrick. Let's get try to get Starmie before we have to battle any gyms. Staryu is a pretty cracked moveset too, so...
All right, last one for the dojo. And then we get to fly down to fight Koga's gym. Hello, Dragonite. All right, that's like a pair. I was like, that didn't quite do as much as I was hoping, but you know, paralysis is always good. Elizabeth, you've been our carry since the beginning. Our team is just so good. plenty of grass types, we don't really have rock types, so I'm actually going to go with the Graveler. Our PC box is full. I honestly did not know that was a mechanic in these games. Uh, normally with, especially Gen 1, I grab my base team, and that's all I get, really. I get, like, the prize encounters as I go, but I don't get an encounter every route. So... I didn't know there was actually a limit to your PC box. Got it. Okay. I didn't even know that was a mechanic. I've played... I played Pokemon Red, Yellow, and Blue when they first came out. That is crazy. Okay. I just assumed it was an infinite list. Alright, well, you know. Alright, I guess we're gonna take our Graveler now. And I always call... This is... I always call... The Geodude line dude. Trace, fly. There, thank you. So we can get this done quickly. I'm really, really hoping to get, like, a lot done this episode. Because I feel like the last, honestly, three or... I mean... We're on, what, episode 12 at this point? <laughs> and uh, we haven't made... About half the episodes, nothing really happens just because of the amount of trainers we have to grind through. So I'm really hoping to get a lot done this episode. Still gonna battle all the trainers because cap is 50 and like we need the XP. Cause I don't wanna be going against a uh, level 50 ill prepared. stuck, but he wants to be using the fairy. That was a really interesting first few turns. Trace those levels. The invisible walls marked by dots in this gym. Classic. Tangela. Alright, 
KFC apparently just turned 40 because it's taken a bit of experience to get it up to 41. Then we'll move Staryu to the front until we get a Starmie because I would love to have a Starmie for this next fight. Seeking. Okay, this is not a good matchup for KFC. You know what? Let's go with Staryu. Staryu's got Thunder. Okay. I mean, sure. Makes the battle a little bit easier for Staryu. Instead of having to depend on Thunder, I can just Water Gun. Seeking. No, we'll stay here. Zegutor. Back to KFC. Fly. You missed, and I'm gonna hit with Barrage. Cool. Gotta love it. KFC at 41, we can focus on Patrick. Again, hoping to get Starmie before we have to fight Koga. Weeping Bell. Not ideal. Do we have a move for that? Not really. Okay, so. Likely back to KFC. I do not want to risk two paralysis kicks to get a move off. All the XP going everywhere. Um. Can star you. Should be a good chunk. Nice. 
There it is, level 42. We got a Starmie after this battle. I do want light screen. And we're gonna take light screen over Swift. surf over water again at some point. And surf over water gun just give us a stronger, more accurate water move. But if I really want to go for the gusto, we have hydro pump, so... Six fully evolved Pokemon. It's been a long time coming. All right, star me on the layout, star me on the team. We are looking good here. Looks like only one more trainer to battle before the gym leader. Yep. Battle this guy. We're gonna head out and heal because I don't want any of my team members to be paralyzed for the gym battle. Oh, this is lovely. Let's test out Starmie's strength, shall we? Get it done. Tentacool. We can go to Minaj for that. Take advantage of Tentacool's poison type by using Psybeam. And we're just gonna go back and heal now so we can face Koga at full strength. So once we heal, face Koga. We will go through Sabrina's gym, except for fighting Sabrina. Because I need to try to get as much experience as possible. And then I'll kind of assess to see what I feel, because... I know that the whole point of Sabrina being so powerful, and then the next gym leader only being like a couple levels above her, is because he's meant to be one of the more difficult gyms in this game. But... I also have a Nuzlocke to consider, and I don't want to... Change of plans. We are going to do all the gym leaders in Sabrina's gym, too. So that our team is as close as it's going to get. I'm not going to be grinding anymore. I made that uh, promise to myself, so we're not going to be grinding on wild Pokemon. So, in order to get my team as prepped as possible, we are going to move through Sabrina's gym, battling all the trainers along the way. To get as much experience on the team as I can, because I understand fully that this is a Nuzlocke, but at the same time, we need to keep moving. So, we're going to get as much experience as we can on the team. Hopefully, the team is at least mid-40s for Koga. Like, everybody's like 43, 44, 45 is what I'm hoping. Blastoise, Instinct. Oh, 
it's just crazy because like Sabrina has people in her gym that have level low 30s and then she all three of her team members are, are 50. Just crazy. Normally, I do everything I can to avoid fighting trainers in her gym, just because I hate the warp tiles on top of the battles, but I need the XP, man. I just need it. There's 42 for Minaj. Then on that, we can go to KFC. do you miss these moves? Fly doesn't even have that high of a miss rate. You have Hustle before Hustle was an ability? I just don't get it. Alright, well. This kind of sucks. This is probably not the wisest choice either. I don't have a super effective move for you. But you probably have one for me. Okay. Worked out in our favor. Luckily, I do have full heals. So we don't have to even sweat the poison. I didn't switch Minaj out, it's alright. Definitely alright. Then Rhyhorn. I guess to stay here. Just keep racking up experience on the Minaj, I guess. What are we gonna do? Everyone needs that sweet, sweet experience. But I can only go against the Pokemon that are sent out against me. Elizabeth is 42. We cooking. We cooking. Alright. Let's get KFC up front. And of course it's the two birds that need the experience. The ones that will likely be my sweepers for these games. Of course, it all depends on what Pokemon they get randomized to, but... Hello, Weezing. We're gonna... Fire Spin you so you can't do anything. Thank you. Yeah, because likely... I mean, luckily, everyone on my team is completely viable at this point, so, like, I could use any one of these six, and I'd be fine with it. It's just going to matter what the uh, gym leader's aces are. And what Pokemon they're using in general. Okay, we've already been here. Good. So we only have the... T so it's because it's a nine grid. Uh, we only have top left and top middle that we have not battled in yet. Tentacle... Not a great matchup for KFC, but Tentacle doesn't really get water moves, so we're just... Can you stop missing Fly? 
Like, for real, though. Like... The stupid chicken. Alright, there's top middle. We just need top left, and then we can figure out what to do for we want to do from there. Keep him coming. Need arena. I don't think you're ground type yet, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, we just need top left, please. That's not top left. That's back where we came from. That's bottom right. Or bottom left. This is top left. Okay. So now we... After this, we just need to get back to the entrance. Because Sabrina's going to be more difficult than Koga. So I'd rather do Koga first. Doug Trio. Types anyway. Keep going. KFC still didn't get a level up. Okay. Well, so much for hoping for the mid 50s. And then we're just gonna keep doing this till we get to the entrance. Okay. Now we're going to fly back to Fuchsia. And we're going to do Koga's Gym. And then we're going to do Sabrina's Gym. And it's just going to be back to back gym fights, but it's what we have to do. It's where we be at. I'm going to lead with. Um. I'm going to continue leading with KFC. Being able to lock people with fire spin is nice. But we do have some good walls if we need to get things safe. Hello, Koga. Bring it on, buddy. Thank you for not missing, by the way. Take down... Okay. One more fly should take out Arcanine. And then... Who's next? KFC's 42. Always good. Good level up. Hypno. We want to switch out for... Minaj, I believe. Or we could go Dozen. No, Hypno's got, like, sleepy stuff, and I don't want to deal with that. It's so weird being, like, under-leveled of all these people. That's oh, doing nothing. How much does an Ice Punch do? Not much more. Okay, here we be. There's a crit. 
mean, luckily he's Hypno staying asleep. Because. I do not want to be dealing with an awake psychic type right now. And Hypno goes down. Nido Queen. I have my own Nita Queen. They will outspeed. Okay, I think we have to go with Dozen here. And we'll put up a Reflect. Dozen's first battle since it evolved because I so focused on it to get it leveled up for one of the grind videos. There we go. The team is just so good. Sanchiru. Let's go with Instinct to see if we can't there, that's his ace. Okay, level 50 Sanctuary. How much is this gonna do? It's gonna be a 3 co. Unless I get a crit. It's 4 and 5. Okay, so. Even at 5 times, that's a 4 to 5 co. So I think we just stick, stick with our gut and stick here. There we go. Ugh, man. And we're all 42. So anyone can lead, and I'm gonna stick with KFC for the same reasons I said before. Alright. Well, after taking way too long to find a uh, picture of this whole badge so that will fit and not have a white background and all of the things that we need. Um Cool, Vine Whip. Thanks, buddy. Um, we are going to heal and go try to take on Sabrina. And that will be the last thing that I have time for today. And then, win or lose, we move on from this area of the game. And next episode will be either... Uh, fresh team introduction that I will grind off screen at some point. Don't know when. If we lose. Or if we win, uh, we will be going to the Safari Zone. So. I'm very interested to see how this goes. I Again, we have backups for everyone on the team. But I really like the team we've got assembled, so I don't want to have to use the backups. But we got three level 50s that are randomized. Hopefully it's like Misty's Rattata or Koga's Sanchiru, and they're easy enough to beat just because they're not fully evolved. usually works for me. There it is. Yeah, just keep heading left or right. That's all you gotta do. Alright, Sabrina. Not gonna say I'm ready, because I'm not, but... Here we go. Mmm. Great start. We just gotta keep him trapped in fire spin. Next defend. Okay, that shouldn't affect fire spin. This is our hope to get past Nato King, is just to trap him in fire spin for the whole match. I mean, KFC is gonna be our carry here. The ability to have fire spin and pretty f a pretty fast fire spin is. 
outstanding. Wow, she actually has a Kadabra. Um, okay. Her team is normally a level 50 Abra, a level 50 Kadabra, and a level 50 Alakazam, so... Decent chunk. And a crit. There we go. We got this. Alright. Two down, one to go. We crushing it. Level 43 for Minaj and far fetched. Alright. Instinct, it's all you. We did it. There we go. Okay. Marsh badge. Down. Yes, it says up to level 70, but we are not going that high. Crab hammer. Water move. Does anyone need a water move that's not Starmie? Because Crab Hammer is decent. And then you just do the opposite on the way out. In future gens, they put a port a warp panel that's a one-way warp panel from the beginning. That leads to the beginning. From the gym leader. But no one that does not currently exist. Okay. I know I don't want to give it to Patrick. I don't really want to give it to Minaj or Dozen. So I guess we'll just PC both of these. And we'll heal. And then next episode, we have the Safari Zone, which I'm not looking forward to. But, you know, at least there's no trainers. We'll have an encounter, which will be fun. And then it's just a matter of beating the maze to the back. Because we need the old teeth for strength, and we need to get Surf. So there's two things we have to do in the Safari Zone. I'm pretty sure they're both from, like, the same spot, though. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know about it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and we will be back in a few days with the next episode, which will be the Safari Zone and however far we get across the ocean towards Blaine. Have a great rest of your day.